lesson for today. And as I said, that's going to be the topic on precocial and altricial, and then that's going to be on page 184. 184, yes. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of shadow reading, and then we're going to identify the important information. So most animals, when they are born, require a great deal of care from one or more of their parents before they are fit enough to survive on their own. So as you know, fit enough, that's going to be healthy enough to survive on their own. Yeah. Okay, so why don't you just go ahead and try that first sentence. Yeah. Most animals, when they are born, uh, require a great deal of care from one or more of their parents parents before they are fit enough to survive on their own. Others, however, are ready from a early, a very early point in development to leave the nest and fend for themselves. So that means take care of themselves. Yes. Others, however, are ready from a very early point in development to leave the nest and fend for themselves. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's go ahead and think about the first two sentences and make some notes. Let's make some notes, yeah, sure. Mm. Yeah, so... Mm. Mm. Yeah, so there are... Uh, there are two kinds of animals. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so... One bus, but the bus is the bus, the bus uh, requires a great deal of care from mm -hmm. their parents. Mm -hmm. And the other one, uh, don't the other one don't require any any help from others in the early stage. Mm -hmm. They. Is they uh, they just they just become independent uh, from the initial stage. Yes, that's right. So usually, a lot of reptiles are like that. Yes, reptiles, that kind of fish. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and continue with the next part. So then we have these two broad groups of animals can be characterized as being either precocial or altricial. Precocial refers to animals that require little care after birth, while altricial refers to those that rely on their parents for a longer period. Yes, mm, my turn. These two broad groups of animals can be characterized as being either precocial or altricial. Procultural refers to animals that require little care after birth, while altricial refers to those that rely on their parents for a longer period. Mm -hmm. And so if you think about the information that, ju that they just told us, it's actually very similar to what they told us in the previous sentence. Because previous you said, okay, they told us that there are basically two kinds of babies. One kind of baby requires a lot of care from their parents, and the yeah. other kind, they don't need any care from their parents. And so basically, now they told us the technical term. Yeah. So when a baby requires a great deal of care, which, right which word is that? Precocial. Uh, uh, no, 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 yes, give me a second. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, yes. Agriculture, yes. Agriculture, uh, yeah. That's right, that's going to be altricial. So, Altrish. Mm -hmm. And vice versa is precocial. That's right. So, that's yeah. going to be precocial. And so, actually, let me go ahead and go into, <coughs> go into screen share. Yeah. And as you can see here, we have a note. Great deal of care, or threshold, don't need any help from parents, precocial. Precocial, yeah. Uh, yeah, these two kinds of babies, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, it, yeah. 
the first paragraph yeah, explains the conception of the two kinds of babies. That's right, exactly. So. Yeah. According according to the uh, how much how much time they spend with they spend uh, they spend with help from others. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> and so when you know, when I think about it, uh, birds <coughs> I don't, I can't really think of precocial birds. Yeah, I mean, I, when I think about birds like penguins or eagles or, you know, whatever, robins, most birds are altricial. Yes, most birds are altricial and the reptile, reptile and uh, insects. Mm -hmm. That may be a uh, precocial, I think. Yeah, that's right. So, uh, you know, I can think of other animal uh, species in different categories. And sure, then there are some really good examples of precocial animals. Yeah, precocial animals. Yes, we can. Yes, I, I see a lot of precocial animals, not only precocial animals, but also, uh, yes, our air chaser animals. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's right. That's right. That you would you would definitely see a lot of that, uh, especially in biology. Yeah, biology. Yeah, from class. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Are you now do high school seniors the last year? What what kind of science do you study? Mm, we don't study. Uh, 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 senior. Uh, we now we study the science, but. We didn't study science last year. Last year, but you studied science this year. That's what we have. We studied uh, science this year, but we don't, we don't, we, we don't learn biology. Mm -hmm. We instead, mm -hmm. instead of biology, we learn the earth, earth science. Oh sure. Uh -huh. Yes. So, yes. Or not, or not. It contains a little bit, uh, little bit context mm -hmm. of. Biology. Sure. Yeah, but it makes sense to have a little bit of biology connected. Yes, but it, but it, but it doesn't account. It doesn't account for a rock. No, or, no. Yeah, because the Earth can. You know, there's so many different parts that doesn't include animal when you're talking about the Earth. Yeah. Some so, some physical science too. I see that yeah, science too. And but but uh uh but but. but they also explain the animals, uh, the evolution of the animals. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, as as the uh, time, yeah, yes. Uh, they they also explain the adventure uh, that, uh, evolution of the animals uh, according to the uh, according to the evolution of the earth. Yeah. Right. So, right. Mm -hmm. yeah, so from the amoeba, <laughs> they kind of tiny. Creature from mm -hmm. the yeah, I mean that's going really way back. Yeah, and animals, mm -hmm. and uh, 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 yeah, and the uh, fishes in the water, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the uh, fishes uh became go out of the water and became the yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah the mammals. Well, like mammals or humans or monkeys, yeah, they yeah, have yeah. like that. Uh, you're talking about like the beginning of Earth. Beginning of yes, yeah. Beginning. yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean that's before dinosaurs. Yeah, dinosaurs. Yes, dinosaurs also, yes, uh, activated in yeah, mm -hmm. a long time ago. Now going back to precocial and altricial. So when when you think about humans, which which category does the human belong to? Uh, of course, uh, altricial. Yeah, definitely, definitely, and maybe in some sense, I mean, there's probably different levels of altricial, and humans are probably one of the highest levels of altricial. Yes, right. Yes, most wrongest. Yes, most mm -hmm. wrongest time. Thing. Yes, the human, the human baby spend with their parents for most wrongest time. Sure, sure, and and it's kind of interesting because if you think about. Um, the humans, you know, they they are the most advanced organism, but at the same time, they require the longest amount of care from parents. Yes, yes. I'm also 
and I'm also depending on my parents. Sure, sure. And actually, as the, you know, we're talking about the evolution of Earth, and if you think about the cultural evolution of human beings, um, as humans have become more advanced, the dependence of, you know, babies to, you know, adolescents, the, 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 the period that they stay with parents is actually getting longer. Getting longer, yeah. So, uh, as the society was developed, as the society is developed, mm -hmm. the period of the period of staying with their parents is also longer than before. It's it's getting longer. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes, because uh, because when because uh, if the society is, is developed than before, mm -hmm. yes, human also requires a lot of lot of things. Mm -hmm. to be accustomed to it. Sure, sure. So as the civilization, society becomes more <laughs> developed, more complex, mm -hmm. then that means the dependence and the training and dependence on parents is actually also becoming longer. Yes, longer, yes. So, so uh, in that way, so, so, so in that point, so, 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 that, so that this, this time is very complex complex mm -hmm. and very complex and very uh, contains a lot of things <laughs> yeah so yeah, so human, yeah, mm -hmm. so human should be uh, human should be more dependent on <laughs> their parents yeah yeah I mean that's that's the that's the direction that it's going into so we can uh, extrapolate that as society continued right because the Civilizations, you know, it's becoming more complex than what it was, you know, 200 years ago. So definitely, um, the dependence on parents will continue. Yeah, right. Well, let's go ahead and finish up that last sentence. See if there's anything else that's important that they talk about. So the characteristics of each group can vary widely depending on the type of animal in question. So that means like in question means like having a discussion. Yeah. And it can sometimes be difficult to distinguish one from another. Yes, my so the characteristics of each group can vary widely depending on the type of animal in question. And it can sometimes be difficult to distinguish one from the other. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what do you think about that sentence? Mm, I think uh can each group can vary widely depending on the type of animal in question and can sometimes be difficult to distinguish. Yes, so I think the standard of the descent, yes, uh, there is no accurate standard to distinguish, uh, to, to distinguish uh, both, of, yes, both of them. What is artificial and what is precursor? Mm -hmm. because, uh, because, uh, because the, the standard of distinguishing them mm -hmm. is very it, it, it's not that accurate, right? Well, let's see. So it says the characteristics of each group can vary widely depending on the type of animal in question. In in putting the one word, mm -hmm. bay, bay, bay. Yeah, bay. What is that? How do you spell that? B. V A G U E. Bake. Oh, vague. Sure, sure. Um, not, not that it's not that it's vague. It's it's a little bit. What they're what they're saying is that that because the characteristics of each group can vary widely. Can vary widely. Uh huh. So there's there's a lot of variation. So what they're saying is that. Each animal varies. There's some differences for each animal. Yeah, differences for each animal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's hard to distinguish whether the animal is precocial or altricial. Ah, uh, yeah. So ah, uh, yes, because that yes. there are sort of yeah, there are sort of differences, differences of the uh, between uh, among the one species. 
Mm -hmm. So, so basically, you know, earlier you were saying, well, there's no standard. Well, that's because there's so many variations among the animals. Yeah, many variations. Yeah. Human also, human also different. Yeah. Yeah, sure. I mean, we we we're, earlier we we're just talking about different levels of altricial, right? So. You know that's that's where the variations come in, and if you think of, and if we if we look at it even closer, you know your family might be different from another family. Another family. Yeah. Right? Now we have we have more variations, and that's within the human species. Now I'm not sure if that's true for other species within, but I mean it it could be possible. Like if you have one family. You know, if you're talking about a bear, I mean, it could be different with another family of bears. Yeah. So, yeah, variation, variation would be yes, yeah. So, yes, that's right. So, yeah. So, mm, the yeah. Effect, so, mm -hmm. yeah, right. Well, you know, before we um, talk on this, let's let's think about this. So, if we if we think about the information that they talk about in this in this first paragraph yeah right here we know that there's basically two different kinds of babies one is altricial other is precocial and they talked about what the difference is but then in the end they're basically saying there's no real clear way to define which one is which yeah, which, right? one is which. yeah right okay so now let's think about an insight insight Insight, you know, one of the best ways that we can get an insight is after we make notes about a particular reading, and then we examine the notes and we think about what we just read and the notes. And so, if we re-examine this, what kind of insights could you make? Well, what kind of insights could I make um, mm -hmm. based on my experience? Based on your experience and what what we just read and the information that we just learned and made notes. Yeah. Uh. Uh. The. Uh. The altruist, the conception of altruism and procurator can also adapt to the human. Human too. Okay. So adapt, adapt or apply. Adapt, uh, apply, apply to, yeah. So the, the conception of uh, altricial, precocial can also apply, uh, just I'll put both, apply, adapt to humans. Human, human too, because, uh, uh, but, but they, but there will be a dip, that, but there will be a difference uh, according to the individual. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so there are differences between altricial and precocial within each individual human? Yes, within yes, each individual human. For example, uh, I'm, I'm depending, yes, I'm, I'm under the roots of my parents, mm -hmm. but, uh, but some, some, some boys mm -hmm. with same age with, same age with me, mm -hmm. Uh, sometimes, uh, sometimes, uh, being taken out of the school, right? Mm -hmm. Being taken out of, out of the school and they get a job. Ah, uh, okay, right. Yes, right, yeah, like a part-time job, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. Okay, so they, so they not, well, so they, they, uh, they get, they get a part-time job and... Part-time job to earn money. Yeah, mm -hmm. instead of going to school. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's right. In that, in that, they already, they already independent from the, from the parents. Exactly. <laughs> because, yeah, because they get their, they get their money from the shop. Yeah, and yeah, they, they, they do pretty well. Yeah, and that's that's a really good example of the differences. Uh, you know the the differences in you know altricial precocial within humans. Yes, humans. Yes, that's a yes. That is good example. I I think. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm trying to think. Um, 
Yeah, so, I mean, for me, I mean, this is kind of like uh, similar to what I mentioned earlier. So even though in, in this topic, they're actually talking about Oh, no, no, no. Initially, I thought they were talking about birds when they say nest. But I think in here, when they say nest, yeah. um, you know, they're, initially it seems like they're talking about birds. But a lot of times, when I'm thinking about the precocial animals, um, I think more about the reptiles. Reptiles. Sure, like fish, frogs, lizards, snakes. And those are... You know, very uh, precocial animals. Precocial animals, yes, yes. I, yes. I also run that the reptiles and yes, reptiles and yes, big precocial animals. That's right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. um, and you know, and this is where we can further talk about the uh, precocial and um, altricial because if you think about it, some animals, even reptiles they will actually go out of their way to protect the eggs. But then once the eggs hatch, then they, yeah, actually, you know, sometimes they do protect them. Because if you think about like alligators and crocodiles, yeah. even after the babies are born, the alligators usually sort of protect them and they keep them in the area. And usually the mama is, is somewhere around there. Yeah. But as opposed to a lot of snakes, once they are born, uh, they're gone. The, 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 the mother snake does not take care of them in any sort of way. Uh, the snake doesn't take their babies. No, they don't protect their babies at all. No, they don't protect, they don't protect babies at all? No, 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 nope. Because once the once they become independent, then they're independent. They are on their own, one hundred percent right away. Once they're born. Ah, uh, once they're born. Yeah. Right, and so that and so now we think about back to the differences in altricial and precocial. Yeah. So then, if we think about the the reptile species. Yeah. Now we have again some differences within the reptile species. Mm, yeah, and the reptile species. Uh, right. Right. Yeah. So the oh, there are also yeah. differences within the reptile species. Yeah, exactly. Right. So now we we can see now we can sort of better understand why they're saying that. Well, it's hard to distinguish which is which because you know there's there's differences among the species you know within the same sort of category or actually within the species itself. Yeah. That's right. Mm, yeah. We can get. Uh, variety of insight from these notes. Yeah, you know, and all it does is we just need to think about it, right? A lot of times we just read it and we don't actually spend the time to think about what we're reading. But if we, you know, come back to it and actually think about it again, yeah. then this is where we can we can begin to make the insight. Yes, right. Uh, and, you know, a lot of times it's because we're, we're in a rush, like especially when you're doing a test, you know, you got to rush. So you, there's no time to really t to think about anything that we're reading except for, you know, finishing the test. But um, it's actually more beneficial if we take our time and, and think about what we're reading. Yeah, you think, yeah, yeah, thinking about, yeah, insight can be helpful to, yes. Uh, more better understanding of the passage, right? <laughs> oh yeah, sure, sure. Well, let's do this. We're, um, we're gonna take a pause now. We we had a chance to finish our uh, first paragraph. Now, if you notice, we're we're kind of doing the the notes are structured a little bit different this time. So yeah. basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, look at each paragraph and we're gonna first uh, go over the definition, right? Just like what we did on Friday. Find the words and then um, together. Uh, search the words and then present the words and then after that then we'll go and read the story summarize not even summarize but basically make notes and then after we make the notes then we think about the notes again and then we do the insights yeah sure so that'll be for paragraph two on Wednesday yes okay so you have a good night and then I'll see you then
Okay. Alrighty. Bye. Yes. Bye.